Michael, why have you keep too late this morning? Are you really serious about your work? See if you are not serious I will sack you and go for another one okay. I don't joke with my work, because this is the one I feed my family on. I'm sorry sir, I will be there very soon. You better be first else you will lose your job, mark my words. I'm going to work now, have leave the top money on the top of the bed. What pray? My boss just called me that he need me very urgent at work so I can't waste my time to pray, after all is not God I will use Tim Gobo car. My husband you're talking nonsense, and out of sense, mind your words for as we are going is God that is talking us go but not by our strength and power. You're saying I'm talking nonsense? If my boss sacked me from this work what are we going to feed on ourselves? You better leave me alone to go before you see my anger side, you are good for nothing all you know is pray, 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 lazy woman. This woman really spoil my day, I will deal with him when I come home, I need to get to work early you're telling me to pray, what nonsense is that? What can pray do for myself? Your car cannot save you right. My husband you see I told you to pray before going to work, but because you're too proud and boasting of yourself that you can do without God, now you see your life? God let this happen so that you can see that he is all power, and without him you can't do anything. Don't think you have car to drive to work so you can easily go to work without praying, never. If God is not with you, you open doors and give access for enemy to come in your life and destroy you. As you are going and coming it's just by the grace of God but not by our strength. I hope you have learned your mistake here. I have get it now but why should we pray in the morning again, while you have already pray in the night before going to sleep? Morning prayer is like commanding your day to obey you. Whether you are jobless, sick, depressed, frustrated, sorrowful etc. Praying before you start any activity can restore your hopes and aspirations. Through your quiet time, God can use you to change your story. Morning prayers can be a tremendous source of hope and joy in the life of Christians who have resolved to go out to engage in one positive thing or the other. It is a wonderful moment and a first thing to do as a child of God to focus your mind on seeking God's intervention for the day ahead. Praying before the day's activities is your one-on-one -on -one time with God and an opportunity to reinforce your faith in Him. As a believer, when you pray before you go out, you are certain to come across the blessings of God through man. What's so special about morning prayers? A moment of early morning prayer is the perfect opportunity to express your gratitude for His mercy and kindness. We should treat morning prayers seriously, as the first thing to do when we wake up. The Bible says, Thou shalt also hear my prayers in the morning when I direct my prayers unto Him alone. One of the most important aspects of morning prayers before going out is the divine breakthroughs that comes with it. Sometimes, we feel that opening our mouth to pray is the hardest thing to do. Finding time to engage in morning prayers can be time-consuming for some people, especially for those of us who have an appointment to catch, but this act just gives you more reasons that the greater part of your day will experience sad moment. The Bible says, prayers should be done daily, whether morning prayer or night prayers. The real benefits is the restoration of your blessings. One key reason to pray before go out is because God has commanded us to pray. If you are to be obedient to His will, then prayer must be part of your life. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. 2 Chronicles 7:14. So it means, does morning prayers strengthen our relationship with God? Morning prayer did not only strengthens our relationship with God, but when we pray together with other believers, there will be much passion and motivation in the Spirit. If you observe that praying first before you go out, has done much good things to you, then it can also serve as a force not to quit it soon. Does I need to pray much every morning before going to work every morning? New. A prayer that comes straight from the heart is what God appreciates than praying for the sake of prayers. 
you must also ensure the Word of God is there to guide through your prayers. If a Science 6 12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. So now which Bible verse I can engage and use it to pray for every morning, darling? Early morning Bible verses before you go out Psalm 5, 3 My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. Psalm 118, 24 This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Zephaniah 3 17 The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love, he will joy over thee with singing. Lamentations 3 22 23 It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. Proverbs 3 5 6 Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Joshua 1, 9, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Philippians 4, 6-7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God richly bless you for being there for me my wife, I love you. We give God all the glory, I love you to my husband. As Christians, no matter how important our jobs are, we should take it as a habit to command our day with a brief prayer points. This simple act will help you to achieve good things. If the Bible says, He will bless your going out and coming in is an assurance that your day is under God's protection. By taking the morning prayers, you will prepare yourself adequately for any difficulties or trials that will come and you will be spiritually strong and able to resist temptation and remain at peace. The Bible says, The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much, James 5:16. There is power in the early morning prayers. To begin your day without acknowledging the presence of God is certainly bad and can expose you to danger and satanic attacks. When you start your day with prayers, you are commanding the host of heavens on assignment to work on your behalf. Early morning prayers has power to bring good news and ability to avert any wicked plans against for you on that day. It can refresh and recharge your soul. It will help you to stay and connected with your goals each day. Prayer is the key. Commanding your day with prayers can give you the power to rule over your day. However, Jesus Christ started with prayers and ended with prayers. Job 42, 10, And the Lord turned the captivity of Job, when he prayed for his friends, also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. The following prayer timetable for the week is not so mandatory, but it will certainly encourage you to remember others whenever you are to pray. Monday Pray for your family and finances. Pray for singles looking unto God for marital breakthrough. Tuesday, pray for your friends and their immediate needs. Pray for job breakthroughs. Wednesday, pray for your wife, husband, children, partner if any. But if not, pray for yourself. Pray for the salvation of people. Thursday, pray for the sick and pregnant women, safe delivery etc. Pray for protection and deliverance of others. Friday, pray on your personal requests, gifts of the Spirit etc. Saturday, go for evangelism, pray for people experiencing visa and court issues. Sunday, pray for your pastors and his ministries. Please the purpose is to go guide you how to pray for others every week. This can be an interesting prayer exercise that would gives room for progress and destiny fulfillment for many. Please, give a try. Morning prayers before going out today. Dear Father, I sanctify this day in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you Jesus for stepping into my life and home for direction and blessings. Holy Spirit, as I step out this morning, work out my benefits and ordain my day to be blessed and fruitful. It is written in Psalm 37, 23, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way.
Every place I go, the grace of God will go ahead of me to bring forth my expectations and fulfillment of prophecies. Whatever has been issued by the enemy to spoil my day slash week shall not come near my dwelling, the people that the enemy is projecting into my day to establish sorrow and disappointments into my life shall be put to utterly shame. As I step out this morning, I move from glory to glory, from blessings to blessings, from progress to double progress. God, sometimes, life gets me down and I find it hard to see things to be thankful for, but as I go out today, I shall go in peace and return back with testimony. Father Lord, as I go out this morning, separate me from bad influences, evil counselor, wicked personality. Oh God, you are so good. You are faithful and gracious and you have blessed me beyond measure. I come before you today to make my day glorious and the people you have ordained to help me to remember me. Lord, please help me to see that you are going to cause the sun to cooperate with my prayers this morning. I am tired of loneliness, depression, joblessness, setbacks etc. Oh Lord, as I go out this morning, let doubts, sorrow, unbelief, pessimistic etc. depart from me. Anything I pursued yesterday, that I could not achieve, today, as I go out I pursue and achieve them, name them. Whatsoever that want to find me today be frustrated and be disgraced, and Lord, fast track your promises in my life, destiny. Dear Lord, as I am going out today, let this day favor and deliver good things to me. Some people go out and never return back in good health, oh God arise and save me from evil trap my enemies set for me this week. Isaiah 43, 2, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Lift up your right hand and say this, Today O Lord, favor and bless me from the north, east, west and south, in Jesus' name. Lift up your two hands, Today O Lord, I hand over my life to you take over all my activities, in Jesus' name. Today O Lord, let that voice that want to cry against me and my marriage, be silent by the blood of Jesus. Every witchcraft decision reached against me and my activity this week, blood of Jesus scatter them, in Jesus' name. Every evil prayer raised this morning to hinder my open heaven, receive fire, scatter and die, in Jesus' name. Any evil man or woman calling me every Monday to speak mistake of words into my life, backfire, in Jesus' name. O oh death, poverty and misfortunes looking for me and any member of my family this week, receive fire, go back to sender, in the name of Jesus. The bad dreams that I had last night that wants to control my day slash week, I cancel you by the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus, I close the ways through which the enemies want to rob me today, in Jesus' name. Pray for whatsoever you are doing for a living, if jobless, ask the Lord to position you. Any power that wants to attack you this week based on the information you shared to him slash her, be frustrated by fire and thunder, in Jesus' name. Every form of disappointment that want to function in my life today, scatter and fail, in the name of Jesus. Father, let the angels of God that cause one to prosper without sorrow, take charge of my week, in Jesus' name. O Lord enlarge my picture and put it in the mind of men and women to remember me for good, in Jesus' name. Lord, remove anyone you have not assigned to be my friends, in the name of Jesus. Father, reveal to me everything that the enemy is planning to stop the angels of my breakthroughs from locating me this week, in Jesus' name. Lay your right hand on your head and say, I nullify and cast out every evil, programmed into my life and destiny this day, in the name of Jesus. Father, let the rod of iron fall on any evil power determined to pull me down this week, in Jesus' name. Mention the days of the week. Hear the word of the Lord, cooperate with one another and favor me. Father, let your angels take over my plans this day slash week and I soak them with the blood of Jesus. As Christians, no matter how important our jobs are, we should take it as a habit to command our day with a brief prayer points. This simple act will help you to achieve good things. If the Bible says, He will bless your going out and coming in as an assurance that your day is under God's protection. Please wait. 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 Don't go show me some love now.
If you're blessed with this video kindly do your best to subscribe the channel for more, likes and also share the link to bless others.